So we started by making the player which was a kinematic body and setting the sprite to that sheet. Okay, so from here we made a floor and converted it to a tile map, a tile set, sorry. Then after that we set the collision shape and setting the animations pretty nicely, places everything nice and makes a script. From there we code a very basic um, basic 2D platformer and yep that's it made the key press the key presses um, move left and right and set the move variable made an animation player and made an animation and just keyed in the the sprites there okay for the frames so we arranged that really nicely and set everything to yep so when we go to the script we set we put the animation to play and set the flip hitch to true when we flip directions okay instance everything and put in the time map just load the time map up there and make a big fat tile there okay from there make a camera put the bottom at 600 and put everything nicely and we add some gravity and movement made the time up collision and we're gonna flip the direction of the sprite again just correcting some issues there and we have our okay and we're here finally um and we're gonna be making our ghost trail effect in godot okay so i'm making um this using the animation player because um i noticed that most channels out there only covered the one with um animated sprites as in the animated sprite mode so i'm just going to be using the animation player here so what we're going to be doing first is we're going to be making a new scene and this scene is just going to have a sprite node okay so this sprite node you can name it anything as you guys all know and here we can actually have two options by adding another animation player or by using what's called a twin so wait don't turn off this video because i know that twin is actually a hard challenge out there and it actually took me some time when i was a learner like when i was still a beginner but i'm just gonna show you that twins are pretty easy and cool to implement okay so we're gonna use a twin okay and the animation player actually why i don't want to use it is because it's going to like it's going to slow down some things okay you might not actually see what it's slowing down but if you have many things in your game and all that stuff it's going to slow it down in some kind of way okay so hey here yeah, we're going to just name this um let's just say trail sorry we i a i l trail yeah a i l yeah so we're going to name it trail and we're going to be giving him a script well, we're not going to do anything in this script for now, but we'll come to it later. So here, um, I just have a pretty easy platformer, yeah, and we're going to make a function. And this function is going to call, um, it's going to be called, um, create, um, drill, okay, let's just say it like that. Create drill, and here in this function, we're going to be preloading that drill scene, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say var trail and this is gonna be equal to the preload. We're gonna preload that thing which is going to be yeah trail.tsn. That's the scene that we want to preload. And before I forget we're gonna add the instance. Yeah, so we're gonna instance that scene um in the the player is gonna instance that scene. So we're gonna give it a global position of our position that's what, that's just saying um trail the global position equal to our global position okay and we want the um we want the sprite here to be um that sprite so we're going to actually be giving it um trail the texture the texture since it's a sprite node well we're going to be giving it our sprite 
okay so we're gonna say the texture is gonna be equal to our own sprite the texture so now how do we do it in such a way that the present um, the present frame on the animation player is actually what we want to get so what we're going to do here is since um, I made it actually this is the real sprite is like um, like a bunch uh, I don't know how to explain that like path chain okay so we're going to actually be getting the particular frame okay in this and here you can see my animation player is just going through all that stuff here in the animation so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to get the present um, frame that's in so we're going to say trail is it trail dot texture okay okay actually not texture we're going to be getting this animation here okay since we've already given it um, our texture that means it has the six people on the on it yeah like that and we want to get the particular texture of our player so that we can put it there hopefully what I said just makes sense because <laughs> to me I, I think I'm getting confused on my own self so, <laughs> so here what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this frame so we're gonna say the frame okay so that is gonna get the particular frame and it's going to be equal to the current player sprite um, sprite dot frame so it's as simple as that no big deal okay so here the last thing we want to do is um, we're gonna say you get underscore tree the so add child sorry get underscore tree the so get underscore root we're actually um, not parenting this um, node that we're instancing right now to the player because um, because we don't want it to be moving with the player we just want it to like disappear um, later on okay so we'll just say here we're going to say trail yeah so that should do it and here we're going to create the trail anytime we hit the run button so here we have trail okay so let's say create Trail. and also here we're gonna say create trail so it's only when we're pressing those buttons that we're going to create the trail so here um, in the trail script we're going to just be working with this twin so we're going to say funk underscore ready and here we're going to get this twin node okay so twin yep yeah dot interpolate property sorry interpolate property and what this interpolate property function is going to do is it's going to like interpolate a okay whatever is here in the inspector is called a property so everything here like if we hover around anything here you can see property texture um, property normal map property v frames and all that stuff you can just get everything you want and here we'll, the property we're going to be interpolating is going to be in the visibility and it's going to be the modulate so here it is property modulate so we're going to hit interpolate property just so that we can change it like to a twin node is like um, an alternative for a an animation player so we can like um, kind of animate stuff here in the interplay property yeah so here it's gonna ask you for the object that we want to interpolate its property so it's gonna be the self okay so we're gonna interpolate ourselves um, the property we want to interpolate is gonna be the modulate okay as you can see when we hover around here you side the modulate so um, now it's gonna ask you for an initial value so this is a color as you can see here and we want a situation whereby our ghost player will sort of disappear okay so it's going to, we're going to be manipulating this alpha so that it will disappear like it will just get lost <laughs> I'm not to explain that more than that so here we're going to say color okay and in brackets we're going to put zero 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 and zero sorry 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 I'm gonna put a one 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 okay so 
this is going to be 1 and um, after a period of time it's going to change to 1 1 1 0 so the alpha is the one that's going to get the 0 because the alpha will be the last one yeah and it's going to get the 0 so that it will like fade away so here now next thing they're going to ask you is for a time that you want this twin to finish so we just give it like a 0 0.8 so in 0 0.8 seconds the twin is going to finish and here this is the fun part here where you can choose um, the trans mode okay here you see trans sign um, trans back bounce you can just play around with all these guys but I'm just gonna use trans linear because um, I find it really good with this particular ghost trail um, you can use um, trans sign actually that will work also really nicely but back um, things like the back circ and elastic won't be so nice so I'm gonna use linear and here we say e twist in twin dot is in or twin dot is in out or twin dot is out or twin dot is out in so what do all these things mean it means like it's kind of a choke okay so let's say it's like a choke like when the twin starts if we say is in that means it is starting in it, it just starts um, kind of easily in then as it's getting out, like as it's about to finish the twin, it's going to like choke it like boom. Yeah. I'll not explain that actually. Um here the twin is in out, it's just gonna balance the two a bit. But the is in will actually be more than the out. And the out in um, for the out in the out will be more than the in, but it's kind of be balanced. Then for this we're gonna use is out because we want it to like choke at the beginning part, then ease out as it goes. Okay, so we're gonna use these out. That's all you need for twins. Okay, so next thing um, and the last thing we should do is okay, not the last thing actually, is to call this twin. So we have to say twin will start if not the twin will start. And here we're gonna say yield. Um, actually, what you can do is you can just go over to twin here and connect this node to complete that. But I don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to yield the twin, okay? So we're going to check the twin, and we're going to emit a sorry, we're going to connect a signal. So the signal we're con connecting is twin completed. So when the twin is completed, we can continue with the code, okay? That's what yield actually does. So what we want to do, on the QUE underscore free, and that should be it. I'm gonna hit F5 and check this out. Um, hopefully what I've done will make some sense. Wow. Um, as you can see, um, my character is actually scaled and you see that um, it gives us all these and which is not what we want. Okay, so I found our problem. Um, our problem is here the sprites, um, where is it? Here in the animation, the V frames and the H frames are 2 and 3. So we're just going to go to our trail and give that its own two which is going to be two and three okay I'm gonna go up yeah v frame is gonna be two and h frame is gonna be three and we're gonna save this and the last thing we want to do is here um, we're gonna say trail dot scale should be equal to our sprite scale okay sprite dot scale so that it will have the same size and I think that should be Good to go. Yeah, hopefully. I'm gonna hit F5. And yeah, it kind of gives us what we want, but not exactly. Okay. So again, um, we run into another problem. So what we're gonna do is here we're gonna just say instead of drill the global position equals to equating to our global position, we're gonna equate it to the side the sprite's global position. And again, we want the trail um, the flip h to be equal to our own sprites the flip h. Yep, the flip h. Hopefully, again, that will work out. Just gonna check it out. And bam, yep, it works. Um, we have our nice ghost trail. Well, I didn't actually tell my player to be able to jump. 
but um it's coming out really nicely well if you want to like have a delay and like not let all your um the trail be that long you can just add something like a yield timer or something and it's going to hopefully be all right so thank you for watching this video if you have any questions leave down in the comments go on my discord twitter facebook instagram anything and i'll be happy to help you um if you want to keep watching videos like this just subscribe to this channel and if you want me to make any type of tutorial if you run into any problems you can leave them down in the comment section below or just hit me up with any social media platforms given down the link it will be in the link in the description okay thank you and goodbye